Hello everyone. Today we are going to practice responding. So join me on the edge of your chair, feet on the ground, shoulders back, sitting tall, and we are practicing owl breathing. And owls can turn their head like 270 degrees, not quite 360, not quite all the way around. We're going to do 180 degrees, like a straight line. So bring your head and look to the side. Take a big inhale through your nose. On the exhale, slowly turn your head and release all the air to the other side. And notice what's around you, like take in, like be present and see the different things, sights that you see wherever you are. All right, inhale deep. Exhale, notice different colors, people, all the way to the other side. And owls make a hoo, so if you want to make a hoo sound on the exhale, you can. All right, inhale deep. Exhale, hoo. One more time. Inhale, fill up your lungs. And exhale, turn your head 180 degrees to the other side. Excellent. Just noticing your neck today. Sit tall and now let your head fall to one side and just notice your neck here. Bring your hand up over your head and place your hand on top of your head. Now press your head into your hand. Feel the stretch in your neck here. Just gently feel it. And think about that word responding. Like how do you respond to people or when you hear gossip, or when you hear negative things, how do you respond to that? What do you do or say? Do you repeat that? Breathe deep, like practice your breathing here. Now look down to your knees and breathe here. Yes, our neck holds so much tension. And slowly come back up, yeah. Now let your head drop the opposite direction. Bring your other hand up and over the top of your head, good. Now press your head into your hand. Maybe look down at your knee, take a big breath in. One of my favorite quotes is, life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we respond to those struggles. Like, what? how do you respond to different struggles and things that happen to you in life? Keep breathing and slowly come up, yeah. Everybody, let's take a big sun breath in. Bring your hands to your side, inhale up. Exhale, just release any tension. Good, another breath in, inhale. And exhale, come on down. All right, join me standing up by your chair. Okay, everybody step one foot just right underneath your chair and bring the other foot behind you. Now bend your front knee and straighten it and just feel the different stretches you feel in your body and your back foot's just maybe lifting up here. All right, stay here. Pull your shoulders back, maybe bring one hand up. Now let's breathe together. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in, keep your eyes focused. Maybe you can bring the other hand up and breathe out. Another deep breath in and breathe out, good. And just come forward, excellent. Now stand tall, like feel your strength in your body. Feel your posture here. You're waking yourself up with your breath and bring your other foot behind you. Come up on the ball of your foot. And then bend your front knee and just feel, make sure your knee's not going way in front of your ankle here. All right, here we go. Bring one hand up possibly and breathe deep. Like fill up your lungs, keep your eyes focused on one spot in front of you and practice that deep breathing. Really stretch your fingers up as you're bending your front knee. Maybe your other hand comes up. Keep breathing, like feel the oxygen come into your lungs and out, good, and then step forward. And then join me on your seat. Right away, bring one foot up, cross it over, either cross your legs or if you can, pull it in. Call this pigeon, just sitting here like a pigeon. Pull your shoulders back, sit tall, and now breathe. 
everybody bring your hands up and then bring your hands to your heart and just lean forward yeah so here's three rules about whether or not you should repeat something like in your head if you're wondering should i repeat what somebody told me or should i say something sometimes we don't know whether we should say something here's three questions you can ask yourself all right is it true never want to repeat something about somebody that's not true. We don't even know if it's true. Number two, is it kind? Would you want somebody to say that about you? Is it kind? And number three, is it necessary? Like, why do you need to repeat it? Is it because there's somebody that's in danger? Or is it some, some way that you need to help them with something? So ask yourself that question. And that'll help you to know whether you should repeat something and lift your other leg up and lean forward. So let's see if you can remember those three questions. Breathe in and breathe out. Now keep breathing, keep breathing. Responding to other people. Ask yourself, is it kind? Is it true? And is it what? Necessary. Sometimes we do need to repeat because somebody's doing something that is dangerous or might get hurt, or maybe you need to help somebody with something. Breathing deep. And then sit up tall. Good, let's take one inhale together. Inhale, and bring your hands to your lap. Yeah. Make it a great day today, and remember to respond honestly, kindly, necessarily, remembering those questions.